So what's the difference between the new park and the old park? Well, the old park, you would play the games, say, on a hot August night at 92 degrees with 50% relative humidity. You have moist air, which turns out to be less dense than dry air. The new stadium, they'll play the game at 72 degrees and estimated about 40% relative humidity. So that cool, dry air is ever so slightly more dense than the warm, moist air in August. And that will lead to the ball traveling a little bit further on a hot August night than on a, every night in the new, brand new park. So let's see what the difference is. We have, first of all, our no drag situation, 756 and a half feet. Uh, 92 degrees, 50% relative humidity. That same ball would travel 407 feet and just clear the wall in, say, right center field. If we now look at what happens when we're at 72 degrees, 40% relative humidity, the ball travels 400 feet, falling just short at the base of the wall. Um, several years ago when the Rockies were starting to put baseballs into humidors to keep them, uh, keep them moist in the, in the dry mountain air out in Colorado, um, I, did a, I had a high school student uh, do some experiments with baseballs. We heated up baseballs, we, uh, we put them in moist air, we dried them out, and we measured their coefficient of elasticity and then we ran simulations to see how far the different balls would go given the initial conditions of the pitch speed and the bat speed and things like that. And uh, we came out with a prediction that home runs would in fact go down in, Rockies, uh, in the Rockies home ballpark. And in fact, we've seen that over the last several years.